Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about shaping light and color grading and going from an image like this to something more like this. As the title suggests, this is one of my favorite color grading techniques right now. And it's a relatively small amount of work for what I think is a pretty massive reward that I get out of it. My favorite thing about this technique is it takes your viewer's eye and points it directly towards your subject, whether that's a product, a face, whatever. It makes it very clear what you're wanting your audience to look at, and it honestly makes my eyeballs really happy to go from this image to this one. But I hear you, Dustin, that's, that's just a vignette. It's literally one of the most simple color grading photo editing techniques and this video is pointless and I'm gonna click away now, but don't. Because as with any color grading or video effect, there is a way to do it tastefully and make it feel more natural and kind of baked into the image. And then there's a way to do it where it takes away from the story, it's a little bit overdone and the viewer's eyes being drawn towards the effect instead of the story in the image. That's a lot of setup and introduction. Basically, I'm gonna show you how I use masks or windows as they're called in DaVinci to shape light and point it towards my subject. Let's get into this computer and I'll quickly run you through how I do this. Okay, so we're here in the color panel. I've already kind of done my color grade, brought it from S-Log into Rec. 709, done a few other little things, but now we wanna add that, that touch, that spice, that sugar. That's not the phrase. We wanna add that extra little bit of flavor. I, metaphor's over now, let's do this. So we're gonna add a node, come down here to our windows, grab a circular ellipsis. We're gonna grab a circle. What is this called? <laughs> it's called a circle. Okay, so we have our circle. We're gonna make that classic kind of vignette shape around almost the whole image. And then this is kind of step one of making it look baked in and more natural. We're gonna feather this out all the way. Next, we'll come down here and click this button that inverts the mask and make sure we're only affecting what's on the outside of the mask, not what's on the inside. And then come over to gamma, bring that down a few notches and bring the gain down a few notches. So obviously every image is different. At this point, I'll start checking to see kind of how it's affecting my image. My main thing is I don't want the vignette to be too dark. That's why I'm not using the lift. I'm bringing the gamma down and the gain down, but I'm not trying to like crush those shadows. That's very heavy and color grading a lot of times is all about subtleties. So we definitely don't want to like bring it somewhere obviously. I mean obviously. I don't even need to tell you that. But I wouldn't want to get anywhere too deep like this. That's a little bit much for me. So I would say that looks pretty good and again I'm using just the gamma and the gain. But I hear you. That's the simple stuff. Just a vignette. Here comes the spiciest part of the spice. So we're going to right click, add a parallel node, do another circular window, Zoom in a little bit here. And this one is to brighten up or highlight our main subject. So for this mask, another part of making it look natural to my eyes is not capturing just the subject, but kind of expanding that mask a little bit to capture other parts of the image. I don't want it to be super noticeable that I'm brightening up this specific part of the image, this specific product, this specific face. I prefer there to be a nice gradual roll off of the exposure. I still wanna make it brighter and highlight it, but just not so distinctly and specifically. So I'm gonna leave this mask like this for now. Again, feather this one. 90 to 100 percent and this part's really important for that whole natural look too i'm working with the gamma and the gain again to make it brighter so i'll bring those up just kind of see what i'm working with let's see what that looks like it's already doing a lot to make sure my eye is on that bottle and not kind of back here where honestly the lighting is a little bit brighter. This shot is a perfect example for this technique because the lighting is already like this. The main light source on the background is already in the center and then there's a key light coming in on this bottle and kind of lighting these other bottles. But there's already a gradual fall off of exposure, a gradient, if you will. What we're doing here with these masks is just enhancing that and making it a little bit more powerful. So I think what we have going here is looking good. I might bring it up even just a little bit more. Definitely want to keep an eye on my scopes. So one thing I always do on this part where I'm highlighting the subject is we brought the gamma up and we brought the gain up. A lot of times when you pull up the gamma, you're pulling some of those shadows up and you lose a little bit of that punch. So when I do that on this node, I like to come in and bring the lift down a little bit and bring the contrast up just a little bit just to make sure I'm keeping that punchiness and that contrast that I had in my original grade. So I'll mess with this mask just a little bit more and let's see what we're working with. And I mean, 
it's just absolutely delicious. This makes me so happy. <laughs> because if I, if I wasn't like doing this video, that would have taken me like 30 to 40 seconds. And for 40 seconds of work to take me from this to this, it's subtle, but it's, I, I, I didn't use this shot in the final image. This bottle was twisted and there's some stuff in the corner. I think the client would have liked this, but when I got to send them this, I was like, yes, your viewers are gonna look at your beautiful product and buy your chicken nuggets and your sauces. And I'm super hype on this and I get, it's so easy. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm being ridiculous. Like tell me which one of these you think looks better. Like, is it is it worth is it worth the hype? Okay, dope. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like down below and I'll see you next week because we're making a video every week, 52 videos this year. This is number three. I'm gonna have to catch up. Thanks y'all, I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next week.